Vanilla Ice, Ice Ice Baby. We're having a great moment because we've gone a bit 90s in the studio and opposite me is Faith Johnson, gaming journalist, and you've you've wired up something and it keeps making a noise. Yeah, so we've got here at Sega Mega Drive that was uh, released actually oh. before the 90s but become very popular in the 90s when yeah. a certain blue hedgehog And we thought out. until a minute ago we'd given up on the display working or something and it suddenly came to life in the most dramatic way. It has a little bit, yeah. We've had some problems with the tech but this is what makes looking back on the 90s so great that we've got all the old tech to fiddle yeah. about with as well not just the actual things to enjoy. And, so. and you brought in a cathode ray tube, have you? <laughs> is that... No, maybe not. If I, I didn't come here on the Elizabeth line, I could have brought a CRT <laughs> TV. I mean, we'd have none of these problems, Jeremy. All right, well, you just keep tinkering and, and, and getting it all straight and ready for us to play. Meanwhile, we're going to talk to Jack Walters from Bakewell, Derbyshire. Jack's 25, but Jack, you've got a 1990s obsession. <laughs> yeah, you could call it that. <laughs> what have you done to your home? Well, it's, it started when I was about 13, sort of collecting games consoles, CDs, cassettes, and it's exploded into suddenly my house almost being like a set from the Vicar of Dibley. <laughs> and you've got a big old telly. Uh, yeah, I've got quite a few. <laughs> I've, got a, I've got a portable in my bedroom, and then I've got a larger screen in my, in my partner's living room. Is it, do you mean you've got one of those things that go right back, a cathode ray tube? I do indeed, yeah. The luxury of having one of those has been to have your ornaments on the top of it. <laughs> <laughs> but I saw somebody recently had a huge old-style telly, so it obviously goes back a long way. And what they'd done to make it a flat screen is they'd knocked a massive hole in the wall and basically shoved <laughs> the back end of it through to the next room, and it would look fantastic. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't recommend that. <laughs> so, so what else in your home, Jack, is 90s? Um, everything down to the wallpaper, the stereo system, our appliances in our kitchen, our oven, our kettle, our toaster, the car I drive. <laughs> What's that? I drive, I've got a 1995 Ford Mondeo. Oh, wow. That's, I'm just trying to think what that's been in. Was that, oh, that wasn't, that, it's the Audi Quattro was in Life on Mars, wasn't it? So Ford Mondeo yeah. feels very famous to me. Do you, but yet you were only born in 98. So it, there's yeah. a bit of retro going on even before you, you were born. Yeah, definitely. And I think me growing up in that sort of late, uh, missing out on the period when I was little and seeing all the family photos of that time, I felt like I wanted to be a part of it a little bit. So I think that's where it came from. Are you listening to music on cassette, t cassette tapes or are you moved to CDs by now? <laughs> well, um, I have cassettes, I have records, CDs. I even have like Apple Music on my phone. I mean, I do engage with modern tech, but I do like, I do have a soft spot for all my... Um, sort of CDs and cassettes. Could you put a, a Men Behaving Badly VHS in your machine and play it? <laughs> well, we had a little bit of a drama before looking for the right cassette, but I've managed to pull out a Vicar of Dibley season one, so oh, I lovely. hope that'll do. <laughs> one moment, this is where I hope that the tech works. That's working. <laughs> 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 Never thought that was going to work. That's what was that that sort of howling sound at the start? That's just the gears getting into position, is it? Yeah, it's um, I've got it's a slightly later nineties player in my bedroom, so it's got self tracking, which is very posh. <laughs> oh yes, where if it goes out, I know exactly what you mean. So when when the tape's running out in the wrong position, it sort of moves it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Did you get beyond the opening credits there, or? Yes. Yeah, uh, one moment. Let's see where we're at. This is this is taking me back in time, I tell you. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> uh, opening scene. Well, listen, I'll tell you what, find a little bit to play us in a minute, and I'm just going to have a chat. If I just move, I might just move around the desk here to talk to my next yep. guest. So hang on there, Jack. And also in the studio, I've got Faith Johnson. Let me just come around here, if I can, Faith, to see exactly what you've got. So can I sit here? Is that OK? Yeah, yeah, go nuts. Is this, yeah. A, this is a Sega Mega Drive. Uh, it was, yeah. It's uh, unfortunately the uh, the modern tech of our LCD screens means we can't yeah. can't see as much, but we can hear it at least. 
Right, you can hear icy. So it, the the screen is showing a, a sort of frozen. Yeah, you'll need to use that, but you won't be able to see, unfortunately. It, well, hang on, it says. Oh, yeah. I don't, oh, God, I, okay, well, I'm not. I can't see anything. No. Oh I dear. He's decided it doesn't want to show it. But, is uh, that is that like fundamental? Oh, here we are. What's this now? This is so you're playing a Santa Claus game. And more aggressive. Can I get him to move? He's gone. He's gone again. <laughs> Look. <laughs> It doesn't matter, Faye. I don't need you to worry about this, OK? <laughs> it's, no. It's, tell us why you love this game, even though it doesn't work. Um, well, I don't particularly like this one so much, but uh, the reason why I love the Sega Mega Drive was just more the fact that it had such a, a cultural impact on the world of gaming. In the 80s and 70s, gaming was more of a curio, more of a kid's... Let's turn that off. There we go. Thank you, that thank off. you. That we've just the about to music. lose half a million listeners. Yeah, uh, and it just it really just rings home about the nineties to me. Like the design of the machine, it's got that really kind of cool aesthetic. Yeah, um, just the way that the, the games uh, so colourful and bright, which a lot of sort of TV and films was like back in the nineties. Yeah, and and for techies listening, I think the problem that we've got here is the classic thing where you put analog and digital together, <laughs> which is basically the digital screen, which is which I think must be one of ours. Mm -hmm. doesn't want an analogue signal. It won't yeah. accept it. Well, it's not emo emotionally, it's not capable. Exactly. So luckily we've got devices now that, that sort of marry the two together. So you can send an analogue signal to a, a digital TV. But unfortunately today for this experiment, um, it just shows no. the, the trials and tribulations us 90s heads have on trying to get our tech working. One today. thing I've, I've noticed is, is that the way you'll, you'll find a game that you love and they'll improve it and ruin it. And it happens every time. I used to play Quake. Mm -hmm. Do you ever yeah. play that? Of course, yeah. One yeah. of the best. It's brilliant. And then Quake 2 came out. Rubbish. Well, Quake 2 is a 90s game as well. Yeah, so. I know. But the Quake 1, I was on it so much. I went missing for, for days at a time on it. Jack, have you got a favourite game from the 90s? Oh, I think probably the original Sonic. With the Hedgehog? Yeah, definitely. Well, that's what we were trying to set up here. Uh, that's the thing. Modern tech is sometimes yeah. can be more of an issue than old stuff. Because <laughs> I should stress what's not happened here. Faith's game is not that that's broken, Faith, is it? It's that our screens here won't accept it. Yeah, unfortunately, well, yeah, if you want to get too techy about it, but uh, there's different resolutions. Yeah. So modern displays are widescreen. Yeah. And uh, old tech is not widescreen, so no, no. sometimes the telly says, no, I don't like that, and uh, I'm not going to play it for Jack, you. Jack, have you got plans at any point to move into this century or not? <laughs> I mean, I, I engage in it every day. I have a smartphone, but I, I, love my, I love my home. It's my safe space away from everything, so I don't have any plans in changing it. And I'm guessing that, that what happened was that you were brought up, your parents were, were obviously immersed in the 90s when you were born, and they kind of stayed in yes. the 90s themselves, did they? Um, I wouldn't say they did, actually. My parents have been quite, especially my mum's always been very trendy and sort of up to date with things um and i think i i never had an interest in what was happening now i was always looking back um so i i slowly dragged things backwards but my parents were quite happy to go along with it they're fine <laughs> faith what is the best decade for gaming the 90s it's the it's the golden it really? era it really is a lot of yeah there's a lot of nostalgia what for it what about the 80 what about space invaders well while well, those games are amazing asteroids uh, they uh, just my opinion them games aren't as playable to i can pick up sonic as we were talking about earlier and yeah. i can play that just as good today as it was back then where some like space invaders a bit more clunky today what's the famous bat and ball one do you remember that pong uh, it was the one the i think atari or something it had a it just had a i mean it was really bad to be honest yeah, Pong. What was it called? Pong. Pong. Oh, it yeah. was Pong. Yeah. yeah, Pong. Yeah, that's a good one. I mean, yeah, I mean, while all those games have got loads of great things about them, there's this thing about the '90s. It's the aesthetics, it's the graphics, yeah. it's the sound, it's it's everything. It's, it's the yeah. Before our attention spans were broken as well. <laughs> Thank you both. That was so interesting. Jack loved the, the, the portrait of the '90s. I've got the Sega theme here, so let's, let's play this. Weirdly, it seems to be nine minutes long, so. Scott can have a cup of tea. That's, uh, that's Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, this is it. I won't play very much. <laughs> Faith Johnson, gaming journalist. Thank you, Faith. No, you're welcome. Lovely to see you, and we'll get a better screen for you next time. Jack Walters from Bakewell Derbyshire, who's 25 and is living in the 90s. Well done, Jack. Inspiring. Thank you. <laughs> and of course, one of the classic sounds 
that you got in the 90s, you'll remember this, Faith, is when you try to get online. Dial up. Dial up. Love it. And you were just waiting, just waiting for this, weren't you, really? Then it would just cut out. And then, yeah, then, <laughs> then it would cut out, exactly.